Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Akanthamoeba keratitis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Keratitis is inflammation of cornea. So Akanthamoeba keratitis refers to the inflammation of cornea caused by Akanthamoeba. It is a rare disease in which amoeba invade the cornea of the eye. It may result in permanent visual impairment or blindness if not treated properly. It has recently gained importance because of its increasing incidence, difficulty in diagnosis and unsatisfactory treatment. Now let us see about the etiology of Akanthamoeba keratitis. The causative agent of this disease is Akanthamoeba castellani. This organism is found in soil, freshwater, seawater, sewage and air. Akanthamoeba keratitis can occur both in immunocompetent and immunosuppressed patients. The mode of infection is direct corneal contact with any material or water contaminated with the organism. What are the risk factors for developing Akanthamoeba keratitis? Contact lens wearers have a higher risk for developing Akanthamoeba keratitis. This is because of the contaminated lens solution. Trauma can lead to Akanthamoeba keratitis and Akanthamoeba keratitis can occur as an opportunistic infection in patients already suffering from viral keratitis or bacterial keratitis. This picture shows the trophozoid stage of Akanthamoeba and this is the cyst form of Akanthamoeba. Akanthamoeba exists in these two forms that is trophozoid form and cyst form. Now let us see about the symptoms of Akanthamoeba keratitis. There will be foreign body sensation, there will be pain. The pain will be severe and it will be out of proportion to the degree of inflammation. There can be watering, photophobia, blepharospasm and blurred vision. Now let us see about the signs of Akanthamoeba keratitis. Infection is often unilateral. A ring infiltrate will usually be seen. The epithelium is intact initially but has a mottled dendritic form appearance and later the epithelium breaks down. Radial keratinuritis is an early pathognomic feature of Akanthamoeba keratitis. It is an inflammatory response of corneal nerves associated with perineural infiltrative process. It appears as thickened corneal nerves with ragged borders located in the anterior or midstroma and distributed in a linear radial pattern. Patients can also present with ring abscess. This picture shows radial keratinuritis. It is thickened corneal nerves with ragged borders located in the anterior or midstroma and distributed in a linear radial pattern as you can see in this picture. This shows a ring infiltrate which is seen in Akanthamoeba keratitis patients. This picture shows the formation of a ring abscess seen in Akanthamoeba keratitis patients. Now what are the differential diagnosis of Akanthamoeba keratitis? Akanthamoeba keratitis can be confused with viral keratitis, fungal keratitis or suppurative keratitis. How do you diagnose a case of Akanthamoeba keratitis? Con confocal microscopy can be done and it reveals cysts of Akanthamoeba. Corneal scraping can be done and it should be subjected to KOH mount calcofluor white stain, LPCB stain, culture on non-nutrient agar with E. coli and PCR. KOH mount and LPCB stain reveal cysts of amoeba. Corneal biopsy can also be done. This picture shows an Akanthamoeba keratitis patient with fluorescent staining. Now, how do you treat a case of Akanthamoeba keratitis? Non-specific treatment includes cycloplegic drugs like 1% atrophin, Systemic analgesics and anti-inflammatory drugs can be given, for example, drugs like paracetamol. Vitamin supplementation like vitamin A, B complex and C can be given for early healing of ulcer. Hot fermentation can be done and dark goggles can be prescribed to the patient. Now let us see the specific treatment of Akanthamoeba keratitis. Topical anti agents like diamidins can be given. The diamidins include propamidine, isothionate and examidine. Bigonates can also be given. Some of the bigonates are polyhexamethylene bigonate and chlorhexidine. Oral ketoconazole or itraconazole can also be given. Multiple drug therapy is usually given for many months. The drugs commonly used are hexamidine plus polyhexamethylene bigonate and chlorhexidine plus neomycin. Penetrating keratoplasty can be done in non-responsive cases. Thank you.